Hello, welcome to Python for Academics. In this video, we're going to improve our skills in generating a LaTeX table from numerical values stored in a matrix. We're going to use our earlier tools for building row and column labels with list comprehensions, and we're going to combine them with a dedicated function that comes from the pandas library to generate an entire table with numerical results. So in this exercise, uh, what we would like to obtain is a LaTeX table that looks like this. It stores numerical values coming from a, an array. And in order to generate a table like this, we're going to have to generate the following text code. And we're going to use a dedicated function from the pandas library to help us format the numerical entries uh, into that LaTeX table. So we're going to start by importing the necessary mo modules. Uh, we're going to import NumPy as NP, and we're going to import pandas as PD. And I'm going to generate my results uh, matrix, my results array uh, for this exercise. Uh, but of course you can replace this with an array that comes from your own research and we're going to generate it uh, using the NumPy package. We're going to uh, populate it by uh, random fractions between 0 and 1 and this matrix will be 4 by 6 in this exercise. So if I show you how that matrix looks like, uh, it's a 4 by 6 matrix with uh, fractions between 0 and 1. So now we're going to convert this uh, results uh, array into a data frame, which is a dedicated pandas format, the way of formatting a, uh, an array. Uh, so I'm going to write pd data frame, and uh, I'm going to pass our results uh, array, and I'm going to set that equal to uh, this variable df. So now if I show you how, what's inside of that variable df, Jupyter Notebook has a way of formatting that nicely for us. So this is our array formatted in a way that uh, we also get this nice column labels and the row labels. So now we're going to call this function to LaTeX on that data frame. Uh, and if I execute this code like this, then it gives me the text code for a LaTeX table that, uh, that contains these numerical values. If I wrap this, uh, this entire uh, function with the print statement, then I get this nicely uh, printed uh, so that the special characters are also uh, printed, such as the new line character. Uh, now you can see that by default, this function to LaTeX prints uh, the column labels and the row labels. If we didn't want to do that, if we wanted to just get a plain vanilla table with the numerical entries, uh, we could set the header parameter to false. And now you can see that the header has disappeared from that uh, table. Uh, and we can also set the index to false which uh, gets rid of the row label. So this is the, like the most uh, basic uh, table with numerical entries. If I copy that code into my LaTeX file and I compile that code, then you can see that we get a very basic array with some numerical entries. So now we're going to extend this a little bit more. We're going to add some column labels and row labels to match uh, what we would like to uh, get in this exercise. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is to uh, automate this code uh, so that it's applicable for <coughs> any size of the results matrix. Uh, so I'm going to first check how many uh, rows and how many columns are in my matrix. And we can use the np.shape function it returns the number of rows and the number of columns in a matrix. And now we can write a list comprehension code that will generate the column labels and the row labels for us. Uh, so we're going to first create this columns list, which stores 
uh, the labels for the columns they have to be formatted in this way that we have our, our uh, subscript number so we're going to first uh, loop over all of the uh, all of the columns in our uh, matrix and we're going to convert that integer into a string and we're going to add one to it uh, so that the columns are labeled from one to six and then to the left of that number we're going to write r underscore bracket and to the right of that number we're going to write uh, bracket dollar so now if i view what's inside of that columns list uh, those are our column labels and now we're going to generate the row labels with the uh, with the list comprehension um, so this is our index list and they should have this following format that we have x to the power 2 3 4 and 5 uh, so first we're going to loop over uh, all of the uh, rows in our table so we're going to uh, write for i in range uh, from 0 to n uh, rows the number of rows in our table we're going to convert that integer uh, to a string and we're going to add 2 to, to that integer so that the numbers go from 2 uh, to 5 and now to the left of that integer we have to write dollar $x to the power of and open the bracket and to the right of that integer we have a bracket and a dollar so now let's just quickly see if this is formatted correctly okay this looks like uh, those are our row labels and now we're going to again uh, create a new data frame with those given um, labels for the columns and this given uh, labels for the rows so we can write uh, pd.data frame and use the results matrix and then we're going to set columns equals to that columns list and index equal to that index list okay so now my I have to set this to some variable so now if I uh, view uh, that table in Jupyter Notebook it's nicely formatted I get my uh, column uh, labels and the row labels uh, and now I can call again uh, this function to LaTeX on that data frame so let's do that to LaTeX and again we're going to wrap this with a print statement so that we have this nicely formatted and now uh, we do have headers uh, in our table so we're going to set header to true and we do have row labels so we're going to set index to true so if I uh, execute this function like this uh, you can see that uh, we get a, a text code uh, for that table and notice that uh, that the way the default way that that function formats our column labels and row labels is that it escapes all of the special text characters such as the dollar the underscore the bracket now we don't want uh, this function to do that because we've paid special attention to write our column labels and row labels in latex so that they're formatted as equations and we can tell that function not to escape uh, those characters by setting this uh, escape parameter to false now you can see that uh, that these row labels and column labels uh, are formatted as they should be and the last thing that I'm going to do here is that uh, we would like only three decimal digits to be printed for all of these numerical values now we can do that by uh, specifying another parameter in that two LaTeX uh, function which is called uh, float format and we can tell uh, this uh, function to use three decimal digits 
uh, floats. So now you can see that uh, we get what we wanted to obtain. I can copy that code and paste it into my LaTeX file. If I now compile this code, then we get a table that we wanted to obtain. Now, the last thing that you can do, notice that by default, this function to LaTeX formats any text entries as left-centered and any numerical entries as right-centered. Now you can override this, uh, this, uh, this way of formatting by specifying this column uh, format parameter. And you, we can, for example, uh, tell uh, to LaTeX function to format everything as left-centered. So we would have to uh, specify the L string here. And I'm going to multiply this by uh, by however many columns I have, which is n columns plus one, because I have six columns uh, for uh, coming from the NumPy array, and then one extra column for these row labels. So if I execute this code like this, you can see that uh, it, it is now going to generate all of the uh, columns as left-centered.